Hello, Jennifer Tucci here, and it is the second day of 31 Days of Horror. As you see, I moved my pumpkin over to day two. Yes, you like my witch headband? And my hail to the pumpkin king, baby. Yes, my Hobbs Horror. Midnight Hour shirt. Yes. Yes. Today, what can I say? I needed some silliness in my life. I swear it's the hardest thing in the world when you're, when you're, when your son or child is not feeling good. You know, he got a cold and he's. I'm giving him lemon tea with honey and blah, 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 cold medicine. And yes, so he's, I swear it's worse when your kids are, are sick when you're not. So I needed some silliness. So I picked 1988 film, Phantom of the Ritz. Yes. Let's get this down a little here. Yes, Phantom of the Ritz. And here's the back. But this kind of shows you, tells you what the hell the Phantom looks like. So, I think that was a bad choice. On there. Yes. Who we got in this movie? We got um <laughs> Alan Poe Plone from directed this movie. He's known for Night Screams, Sweet Justice, and the documentary Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yes. Okay, and we have Joshua Sussman, who plays the Phantom of the Reds. Lord help you! If you try to find a picture of him on Google. Because all they show is that black picture with the gray human outline. <laughs> He's known for the unholy and painted red. and All they're going to show you is that black picture with that gray curve on it. And then it'll show you Josh Sussman from... From Glee and <laughs> comedy horror musical, yes, comedy horror musical. Okay, then we've got Deborah Van Valdenberg, yes, playing Nancy Drawing. <laughs> she she plays an interior decorator. <laughs> You may not remember her um, from The Warriors. Yes. She plays the girl who tries to start trouble between the orphans and the warriors. Yes. And causes some. Yes. But then hangs out with the warriors. That snarky girl. It's a good thing she ended up with Swan. Not the guy I like, yes. And she was also in Road to Hell and A Bunny's Tale, yes. Then we've got Ed Blake is Peter Bergman, the guy who um, buys the Ritz, yes. And then they've got a guy named Marcus who kind of is the, <clears throat> the muscle of of the Ritz after um, Ed buys it. He's played by Russell Curry, who is in Falling Down and Glory Days. Yes. Can't go wrong with the last name, then. Curry, C U R R Y. That's what I say. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yes. Um, and hey. Um, 
they decide that they're going to buy a dilapidated Ritz Theater right there. Yes. And they're going to fix it up and have 50s musicals there. But little did they know that in the 50s, the Phantom of the Ritz, his brother, was teaching the Phantom of the Ritz when he was a teenager to become a drag racer and was in a car with his brother drag racing and had jumped out of the car and his brother had stayed in the car. So he is all burnt and icky, yes, while his brother is dead. And this all happened in the 50s. And he is now escaped to the Ritz. So people are coming in playing 50s music. <laughs> traumatizing, traumatizing to the evil being inside, yes. Yes, and so people start disappearing from work. Legs are popping up in fields around the Ritz, just legs, yes. Odd, isn't it? Yes. And, hmm, but I love to, I love seeing this. The phantom's hand all of a sudden come up from above a door and go <coughs> at this big fat what looks like bloated scarred up hand come down and grab a lady's head by her hair and go <coughs> <laughs> lovely lovely I love it <laughs> this is a true uh, uh, um, 80s 80s <laughs> no fancy schmancy <laughs> fancy schmancy oh, stuff going on there it's just real stuff you know yes um and um and also the phantom is getting rather mad at nancy for um She's a de uh, interior decorator. And she's redesigning the Ritz. And she's going too far. She's going pink and ooh, ew, ew, ew stuff. You know. And he does not like that either. So, yes. And in one part, he takes a hostage. Could it be Nancy? Yeah. And my favorite thing... My favorite line from the film is when he's just explained to somebody what happened to him. And he says, in case you were wondering, my balls were burnt to raisins in the fire. <laughs> yes. In case you were wondering, my balls were burnt to raisins in the fire. Oh, can't go wrong with that line, I'd say. Hmm. Okay. Let's not think about that too much, though. Okay. And I did not look up on this up on IMDb because I was so I was so going, oh, I want a picture of Joshua Sussman when he's not the Phantom of the Ritz. But no, they would not give it to me. So, so I said, well, IMDb. <laughs> so, yeah, I did not look up IMDb. But I am going to give this eight. eight Burnt raisin testicles out of ten. Eight. Yes. And everybody, have a fine October 2nd. Yes. Tomorrow, I'll get back to scary. Yes. Scary, scary, scary. Yes, I'm going back to not so happy and delightful. <laughs> 
even if you can call this delightful. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs>